You got into this industry because you wanted to change the world. But starting a 501c3 nonprofit now can feel really intimidating. Between recruiting your team, building a strong fundraising strategy, and filing with the state and federal governments, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But just as you want to help others, we're here to help you understand the necessary steps to build efficient, sustainable strategies that will change lives. We admire people willing to work towards the change they want to see, and we'll be here to guide you, making this daunting task as straightforward and rewarding as possible for your organization. Here are 10 steps to starting a 501c3 nonprofit. Step 1. Choose a name. Your name is your face in the nonprofit space. It's what will attract and influence the way potential donors view and align to your objectives as an organization. Keep in mind that most states require a name that's not already in use. You can search state government websites for their business or entity databases to see which names are already taken. It's noisy out there, so you need to stand out with a unique name that plays to your purpose and pops you out of the crowd, so choose wisely. Step 2. Decide on your foundation. With your name set, it's time to build out the specifics of your nonprofit. Start with clarifying your thinking to create an accessible and strategic mission statement. So ask yourself, who am I trying to help? What problem will my organization be solving? And how will my organization and I make a meaningful difference? Then, consider the geographic impact. Where are the people I will be serving located? Are they local? Are they national? Or even international? These elements will help you refine your structure over the next steps. Step 3. Start building a team. With the why and where established, it's time to build the team that will support you in achieving your purpose. Critically, it's also time to define how they will do that. Start at the top with your board of directors. It may seem daunting, but by carefully considering these choices now, your mission becomes easier to put into action. To apply for 501c3 status, the IRS requires at least three directors. Remember to choose appointees who don't just share your core interests, but also have a diverse array of skills and experience that can help guide you through the startup process. It also helps if they're connected to well-established community networks that will assist with fundraising in the future. Remember, each state has guidelines determining director numbers and residency requirements. From these directors, you must select your incorporator, who will sign your Articles of Incorporation, and your registered agent, who will accept legal documents on your behalf. Step 4. Incorporate your organization. Now your core team is in place. Next, you will need to file for incorporation within the state in which you will be doing business. Each state has different rules and regulations, so visit their website for details. For example, you may be required to publish your incorporation in a local newspaper, so be prepared and fully aware of your state's specific requirements and related costs before you apply. Step 5. Apply for your employer identification number. Soon after incorporating, you'll need to obtain your employer identification number, or EIN. This is a unique nine-digit identifying number from the IRS. This will allow you to open a business bank account, apply for grants, and pay your employees. You can file for this online or by mail for free. Step six, structure your bylaws. Together with your team, it's time to start drafting your organization's key documents. First up, 
The nonprofit bylaws are your company's governing document, and they are required when you file for 501c3 tax exemption. They outline internal structures, such as board meetings, as well as accountability and transparency practices. Additional documents required include a statement of your exempt purposes, describing your services in the identified exempt area, for example, charitable, religious, educational, or scientific purposes. The second is a dissolution clause agreeing that, should your organization close down, all remaining assets will revert to other 501c3 exempt organizations, or to public use through local, state, or federal government. Finally, you also need a conflict of interest policy, which covers what to do should a conflict of interest arise with key staff members or directors. Step 7. Shaping your brand. Shaping your brand is vital. Your brand should be an authentic expression of who you are and what you stand for, clearly setting out your vision, mission, and values to an accurately identified target audience. All of this should be discussed and approved at your initial board of directors meeting. Be sure to schedule this meeting before you file for tax exemption status with the IRS. The reason for this is you'll need ratified bylaws and director signatures on your incorporation application to the state and the federal form 1023, which we cover in the next task. Step 8. File for tax-exempt status. Filing your application brings you closer to full tax compliance and exemption status, but requires detailed paperwork that should be completed and filed. Each state has different requirements and systems for paying tax, ranging from one comprehensive form for all appropriate state taxes in one state to others requiring individual tax accounts determined by your activities. It's essential to review your state legislation closely before tackling the task to make sure you're filing all the correct forms. But as a 501c nonprofit, you're eligible for exemption from federal income tax and some state taxes. Undoubtedly worth the effort. Most nonprofits involved in religious, charitable, educational, child, animal welfare, or sporting activities file for 501c3 status the most common nonprofit type of the 29 available, each following the same steps to tax-exempt status. To apply for federal tax exemption, you'll need to file either a Form 1023, Form 1023-EZ, or Form 1024. Both 1023 forms are for the 501c3s. The IRS has an eligibility worksheet that can help you determine if you can fill out the shorter 1023EZ or if you need to file a regular 1023. If you plan to file as any other 501c type, you'll apply with Form 1024. You're almost there! But remember, every state has individual forms and allowances you may qualify for. Be sure to review your state's website for compliance and allowance eligibility. To save you some time, we have step-by-step -step guides on individual state requirements on our nonprofit blog. Step 9. Fundraising. One of the most important steps to starting a nonprofit is fundraising. Start by building a budget so you can have a clear idea of how much you'll need to raise monthly, quarterly, and annually. Some other fundraising options are applying for grants, getting sponsors, and soliciting donations. A successful nonprofit will build a plan utilizing all available options. Once you've registered with your state, you can ask for donations in person, at events, and online. For online donations, DonorBox can help with easy, customizable donation forms and fundraising pages that can be added to your site in just 15 minutes. Step 10. Plan your future. Now that you've met government requirements and built your team, 
you'll want to look ahead to affirm the longevity of your nonprofit. This means taking care of business in a strategic manner and keeping up to date with all the state and federal requirements throughout the financial year. So be sure to review government guidelines for ongoing compliance requirements, like annual reporting. As your nonprofit grows and stabilizes, your goals will inevitably change. But starting with a flexible five-year plan will point you in the right direction and keep you on track as you start to make an impact on the world. Starting a 501c3 and getting a tax-exempt status may seem like a major mountain to climb at this point, but with patience and focus, you can get it done and make the difference you know will help others. Just as DonorBox is here to help you cut through the red tape and help you focus on what matters most, your mission, helping you help others.